Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this December cold full moon yoga practice. So the December cold full moon is exactly as it sounds. It's the full moon in December and it is cold. We are going to honor ourselves with the sign of cancer. We are prone to over generosity and giving too much of ourselves away. This is often true, especially during the festive period. Those of you that are loving, kind and generous, hopefully all of you have maybe spent a little bit too much of your energy on those around you instead of filling up your own glass. So this practice is going to be truly indulgent. It's going to be a chance to reconnect with yourself as best possible. I'm going to let you go with your own movements. Be intuitive. Bring props, blankets, bolsters. Bring a cup of tea, a journal, anything that you need to really create a safe space in order to explore your practice today. As I mentioned, it's going to be deeply restorative, so take it gently. Anything that feels too much, you can ease out. If you wanted to bring any complementary practices for this, you can bring in some lavender oil, clary sage oil for deeper reflection, some crystals, maybe amethyst or clear quartz would be good for this time of year. I really hope you enjoy your full moon yoga practice. Wishing you love on the rest of your journey for this lunar cycle. Thank you all so much for joining me. Namaste. Hi everybody, welcome to the December full moon yoga practice. The full moon in December is known as the cold moon and feels truly relevant. We are holding in the sign of cancer, which is a chance for you to connect to your own introspection, reflection and relaxation. Over the last few weeks, you may have found that you have spent a lot of your loving, kind energy on those around you, your family and your friends. Now is the time to reflect a little bit of that kindness towards yourself self, some nourishment and some healing. So today's practice is going to be deeply introspective relaxing. I'm going to do my best to not talk too much through this practice. You may want a bolster, a couple of blocks or pillows, however works best for you to support you in this practice. And we're just going to get straight into it. So allow yourself to become comfortable, wear something cozy, maybe bring a hot drink, set up your oils, your crystals, create a little sanctuary for yourself, maybe even having a journal nearby to take any reflective thoughts that crop up during your practice today. So we're going to start in a reclined bound angle. As you can see, I've set up my props to support my spine. If you don't have that, you can come to lay down on your back instead. Otherwise, aiming to get the bolster the length of the spine, just gently relax down. If you have a pillow, you can place that underneath the back of the head and your legs can be extended or you can bend your knees and bring the soles of the feet together to touch. Once this feels comfortable, release your arms alongside the body with the palms of the hands facing open, allowing the hips to gently relax and the shoulders to melt down and away from the ears. As we take our last few rounds of breath in our first posture, I invite you to notice how it feels to breathe. Notice whether you're met with a very active mind or whether you can lengthen the stillness between the thoughts. The only thing in the world that matters right now is you. We are taking the time to fill our own jug before we pour ourselves out to others. Final 
couple of breaths. And when you're ready, use the hands to support you. Gently bringing your chin towards your chest. Release those props from underneath you. Have your bolster or your blocks handy to the side. Bring your knees together and then extend your legs long as we come to lay down on our back. We're gonna come into a reclined twist. So have your bolster or your prop to the left side of your body. And then as you exhale, just hug your right knee in towards the chest. Take an inhalation. And then as you exhale, we're going to twist over towards the left. So you can rest your thigh on a bolster, a couple of blocks, however feels most comfortable. Arms can be out into a capital T position as that right shoulder melts down towards the floor with the option to turn your gaze towards the right fingertips. If you wanted to add a little bit more pressure, you can rest your left hand on top of your right thigh. As you lay here, you may wish to explore slightly deeper breath. Noticing how that feels through the ribs and the low belly. Final few breaths here. If you've noticed any tension creeping back into the shoulders, the hips, just gently soften these areas. And then using your hands to help you gently guide your right knee back through center. Give both knees a little hug into the chest. You can move your prop over to the opposite side, to the right side. Extend your right leg long as you squeeze your left knee in. And then as you exhale, just gently twisting, supporting yourself with your prop, maybe bringing the left arm out to the left with the option to either rest your right hand on your thigh or bring it out long. Once again, exploring the depth of your breath as you allow the twist to become heavier, melting that left shoulder down. As we take our last few breaths on this side, once again noticing if the tension has begun to creep back in to the shoulders, maybe even the fingers are gripping slightly. And then when you're ready, just gently using your hands to help guide your knees back through center, give them both a gentle hug option to just softly rock from side to side and then rolling to the right hand side just using your hands to support you propping yourself up as we roll over the shins and make our way into a tabletop position 
We're just going to notice how this feels through the foundations as we take a breath in. And as we take a breath out. So we're going to come down onto our bellies. And this next one is a little bit complicated, I suppose, if you have sensitive shoulders. So you're going to bring your left forearm forwards. So your left elbow is in front of your shoulder. From there, you're going to slide your right arm underneath your left. So the palm of the right hand is facing up. You can either stay with this and rest your forehead to your left wrist, or if you're looking for a slightly deeper stretch through the shoulders, flip the left hand. So the back of the left hand is towards the earth. Have a block ready to support your forehead. So the arms are actually crossing over each other. And hopefully you're going to feel a nice release through the backs of the shoulders. As you get a bit more comfortable, you may want to lower the setting on the block. And I always like to think of this posture as giving yourself a little hug. Final few breaths on this side. And then to come out really mindfully, just lift your head off the block or the earth, bring your left forearm to the parallel position in front of your mat. Push into the left forearm so you can release your right shoulder from underneath. Just give yourself a, a relaxing rest in between sides. Maybe rock the hips. Notice how you feel through the spine, the shoulders. Take a little bit of restorative movement. And then we're going to switch. So bring your left forearm parallel with the short edge of the mat. Slide your right arm underneath your left. And this may feel like enough, releasing the forehead down to the earth or to the block here or to the back of your right hand. If you wanted to add on, have your block ready. Option to slide your right arm to the left. So both palms are facing up as you release the forehead down. Final couple of breaths on this side. And then gently bring your right forearm forwards, release your prop, slide your left arm from underneath, release your forehead down, give your hips a little rock from side to side. Now we're going to come into a relaxing posture for the hips, half frog pose. So I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing, but you can stay exactly where you are. Have a bolster ready. 
This can be done without though, if you don't have one. And you have the option to bring the bolster underneath your chest and your left ear. So you're turning your gaze towards the right side. From here, you can bring your right leg out. So your knee is in line with your hip and your right toes are facing the side of the room. Try to let that right hip be slightly heavy as you feel the inner thigh beginning to gently open. Take your last few breaths here. And don't be alarmed if you do feel quite a heavy release of emotion. This full moon is in the sign of cancer, which can be a strong emotional sign. We, begin, we give a lot of our resources away during our winter season festivities. Just imagine yourself gently filling up again. Very mindfully using the support of your hands, just bring your right legs through center. Find a little bit of movement through those legs, through those knees if needed before we switch sides. So now just bringing your right ear down towards the bolster. And then from there, bending your left knee, bringing your left uh, knee in line with your hip, your ankle in line with your knee, and your toes are flexing towards the left side of the room. Relax your chest, your ear down towards the bolster, and just become heavy, relaxed, soft. Taking your final couple of breaths on this side. And then gently bringing yourself back through center. Mindfully bring your left leg back. Tap out those feet a little bit if needed. And we're gonna to come to rest in our Shavasana. So I'm gonna recommend that you indulge here a little bit, support yourself with props as much as you can. So you can turn yourself around. If you have a bolster or, or blocks, you can place them under the backs of your knees. If you have a pillow, you can place it underneath the back of your head. Release your arms alongside the body with the palms of the hands facing up. And just, if you need to take any final movements, please feel free to include those now. 
If you have any blankets, eye pillows, feel free to rest those on your body. As we feel the benefits of our yoga practice beginning to sink in, we reflect upon our intention of today's practice. The December full moon, the cold moon, is a time of heightened emotion, especially when held in the sign of cancer. We have spent so much of our energy and our resources giving and pouring into those around us that sometimes we can be feeling left depleted and unwhole. Take this opportunity to fill up your resources, to fill up your jug, to nurture yourself and prioritize your own well-being and your own happiness. Make a promise to yourself to spend a little bit of time every day with yourself wholly, without distractions, without anyone around you. Allow yourself to just be to reflect upon what you need most in this moment. And as you breathe, you can imagine that this powerful loving energy is flooding into your belly, into your ribs and into your chest. So much so that your body becomes saturated, overflowing with love, kindness, generosity, You have everything you need in this moment to the point where it begins to spill out on your exhalation. You send loving kindness into the world, out through your chest, out through your ribs and out through your belly. You cannot pour from an empty jug. Remind yourself of this the next time you prioritize the health and wealth of those around you instead of your own energy. I hope you've had a relaxing experience through the December cold moon. I hope you can continue to love and nourish yourself through the rest of the winter season. Thank you all so much for joining me. Today, as you go forward, I wish you peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. Namaste.